What's going on YouTube? Gabriel White here representing the movement towards improvement over here at Woods Valley. Today we're going to do a little course vlog actually own. Okay, I'm not going to show how many holes we're going to get in, but we'll play as many as we can and share some, some of our pre-shot routines, the shot shapes we want to do, and hope you guys learn something and we all have some fun. Let's do this. Blair McKeithen, Gabriel Ryder. Hopefully we don't want to hack it out. Okay guys, over here on hole number two of Woods Valley, we got OB left. Um, I'll kind of just share with you something really quick. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk through all my shots, but basically there's two ways to play away from trouble, okay? You'll see PGA Tour players either hit down the line of the hazard and fade it away, or they'll start it away from the hazard and have it come back. What I mean is you'll see a lot of PGA Tour players warm up on the range. A lot of them like to go down to the left side if they fade the ball, kind of hit the ball you know, down the left side of the range and let it fade away. So you could basically set up here, aim down the left center, uh, OB is left, aim up towards left center and fade it away from the trouble. Or if you wanted, you could kind of set up more towards the left side of the tee box, aim down right center and draw it back towards the fairway or really back towards OB. So it really depends on your shot shape um, and what you feel comfortable with. Now, because my stock shot is a fade, um, I feel comfortable going down the left center and just trusting my swing um, that it's going to you know, fade back to the right. So it just depends though. It's all right. And it's down the, right, down the side. right side. Oh, good bounce. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, good bounce. Members bounce. Okay, Blair, so where do you want to start this and where do you want to curve to? All right. Well, I hit my stock shot to draw, and uh, you obviously all the trouble to the left, and I don't really want to hit a draw towards that left side either. So I'm actually going to do exactly what you did hit one down the, the left and just make sure it cuts, you know. As long as it cuts, it'll be just fine. There's a good one. Okay, that's right with me. Good shot on the right side. Okay, you guys, so I got 260 yards to the pin. Um, I got a pretty severe side hill slope. I left the camera from where it was level on the last tee box. So you can tell by the angle of the camera is basically the angle of the slope. Um, 260, you know, I don't want to get greedy. There's hazard to right. There's no reason to be a hero and try to crank a three wood onto the green from here. I'm going to try to leave myself anywhere between 90 and 100 yards. So hit about 160, 170. Um, I have a seven iron off the severe side hill slope. The tendency is to miss the ball left. Um, the, the hosel can sometimes catch the ground and turn the face over. So what I really focus on is getting my path to the left, but really holding off this face and make sure it doesn't roll over to the left. That way I prevent it from hooking too far. So I'm going to aim a little more right than I would normally do. Okay. And I'm just really making sure, sure I swing left and really, really hold that face open. No need to be here. Just chip out a seven iron, give myself a hundred yards in. Perfect. Yeah, really hold that face. Use the body rotation. Um, just no reason to bite off more than you can chew. Okay, Blair's got 235 to the pin. Uh, that's one of the benefits of hitting the fairway. You're going to get more rollout. Mine was hitting the side of the slope. So, Blair, what club you got? I got a four iron, and uh, I just think it's not going to, I can hit one that doesn't spin that much. And it, it, if it works for it lands okay, short. Now, where's the miss? Because 235 on a par five, you know. This is left. Okay. Start out to the right of the green, drawing back towards the right rough. Yeah, that's not too bad though. Should be in the green side well bunker. Struck. Yeah, I hit that really well. Okay, you guys, so what's pretty cool is I'm actually right here in, right by the 100 yard marker. I said I want to leave myself 90 to 100. So Blair just lasered me. I got 99 to a middle pin. Is that where it is, Blair? Mm -hmm. The pin's in the middle. The greens are, are punched, so you can just land this thing right in that number. It'll yeah, stop right there. Yeah, I'm going to try to land this 100. So I usually hit a full lob wedge 105. So I'm just going to hit a nice, easy lob wedge. Uh, hit it a bit, a bit heavy and a bit high. Yeah, in the front of the green. Not, not a good shot. Okay, so here's my ball right there. I'm about 
10 yards short, about a 30 foot putt, just awful. That's what separates the pros from us. You know, you get Steve Stricker, that wet shot, Luke Donald, and they put it tight. Okay, Blair, explain your bunker shot a little bit. Well, unfortunately, I can't, I don't think I can run this thing because of the, the greens being punched, so I got to hit like a pretty big explosion. It actually makes the shot a lot more difficult than it needs to be to get it close at least. Ah, and I didn't do it. That's exactly what I did not want to do. And it's about 23 feet. These greens right now, they just punch. I mean, you got to fly everything to the hole. Down, downhill, right to left. Oh, right to left. We don't know the speed yet. We haven't hit any practice putts. Usually yet. slower greens break a little less. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Uh, all right, good par. Thanks. Downhill putt. It's actually, I think, going to stay pretty straight. Mm. Really bad, right. but really, kinda, really bad par. Kind of some bunker. poor pars for an easy par five. Okay, 157 to the uh, pin, 159. Into the wind. Down the hill, into the wind. This is probably, it's the 65. Yeah, probably about 159 right now. What do you got, Blair? I got a nine iron. Water short here. Okay, draw going honestly about right at it. Be a good club. Ooh, a little short, but on the green. That looks like good, good shot. Seven feet, I guess. Okay, I got eight iron, 160. A little in, into the wind, so I'm just gonna take a full swing. Just focus on good contact. Make sure I keep my hands ahead. All right, heading about 20 feet left or so. Decent contact. All right, it's middle of the green. draw, not good, but whatever. All right, Gabe's got about a 38 footer here. Not the very realistic putt to make with uh, the way the greens are, but he will give it his all. It's rolling, it's rolling towards the cup, it's rolling towards the cup. Wow, that, I always think it's gonna go more towards the water than it does. I'll finish. All right, we misread that a little bit. <sighs> Three footer inside right, you should take your time on these, but I know these greens pretty well. Played a lot of rounds here. Beauty. All right, Blair, how far is your putt? I got about 10 feet. Uh, breaks left to right, and it might break a good amount. I can tell you feet. though for sure because the way the greens are, but so I'm placing about a ball out in the left. Hit it pretty firm. <laughs> that thing like wobbled to the left. <sighs> so good. All right. Yeah, you know, it's not not very high expectations right now. Hey you guys, thanks for watching that video, playing a few holes with Blair. We actually have another part to that course vlog that will be up soon. Just wanted to throw a couple updates on you guys. I am selling some wristbands right now, some MTI wristbands, so click on the link in the description, check them out, grab one if you want. Also, my buddy Andy Patnow um, just made his own YouTube channel and he's been uploading his own YouTube video. So if you guys want to go to his channel and check those out, click on the annotation below or click on the link in the description to go check out his channel. Good stuff. I highly recommend looking up his videos. Also, if you haven't seen Blair's What's in the Bag already, click on that video to my left or right, wherever it is. And yeah, thanks you guys. Oh, and also for the membership site, like I mentioned a few videos ago, right now it's a lifetime membership. So if you pay now, you don't ever have to pay ever again, and I'm going to change that this upcoming week to either a monthly reoccurring fee or a yearly fee. So if you're on the fence, I'm um, not sure if you want to spend the money, well, I would jump in there. I would do it, and if it's not worth five or ten times your money, if you don't think this is the most unique and interesting golf content on the golf swing you've ever seen, and it's not worth your money, you get your money back. So it's a 100% money back guarantee. If you don't think it's worth your money five, ten times more, then just go, hey, Gabe, I want a refund. Boom, bada bing. But anyways, you're not going to want to have to pay a monthly fee or yearly fee if you guys have the opportunity and you're watching this video now. So at least you guys go to my membership site, mti.gabrewrider.com. Check out the testimonials that I posted on the page. I've even got some audio testimonials recently, you guys. 100% um, money back guarantee. My best golf instruction in one place. Take action. Join us. Go join the private Facebook group. Ask us your question and uh, let us help us 
help you improve your game. So thanks, you guys. It's Gabe here. Peace.